welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we have the Lit Joy Crate and Owl Crate. I'm excited. So, we are going to start off with Lit Joy. And if you don't know, I'm pretty sure this is like. It says, I'm pretty sure it's from Utah. And this is my second one, so I'm super excited. And we're gonna open Lit Joy, and then we're gonna open Owl Crate next. And I think I'm gonna pick out like top three favorites, and we're gonna, um, and then after the video, I'll even do close ups of all the things that were in the book. Not in the book, in the box. Sorry. And then you let me know down below what your favorites were, what your favorite book was, was, if you've read the book, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the updates, and if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Okay. Okay, I already cut it open. This is what it looks like. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Can I put it up here? Can you see it? If I put it right here? Let's see Oh. Yeah, not really. So let me just. Okay. We have our little, I like to call it a little cheat sheet. And this month is Women Warriors. There you go. Mother's Day is just around the corner. So we definitely are warriors. But it doesn't go for, you know, the single dads that do it all, too. Got you. Okay. So we move some wormies. Okay. <gasps> okay. The first one I see it says Stark. <laughs> Stark Bucks. Bravo's Brew. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Do you see it? And <laughs> the back says, A girl has no name. Wow, with the lid. Oh my gosh. And it's this Lit Joy crate. Oh, this one is awesome. That's awesome. Okay. But, oh, you can't see that. I'm just moving all my angles on the right. I'm sorry. Up close, the birds at all. Okay, the next. I think I saw this in a sneak peek. So, I think you already know. And it's a pretty sure. Okay, this is my first pin. Says, I am no man. By signed by Bra Brio and Brandish. I most likely said that wrong. Do you see that? All the flowers and the it looks like a sword, dagger. Maybe from Game of Thrones. I don't know, but I need a pin. Holder. That's what I am getting excited for. Here. Let's take it out of the package. Ooh. Yeah, I am no man. Do you see it? Wow. Okay. Let's put that right here. And then we got solids too. It's like I know I'm going to be wrong, but it reminds me of Mulan. Like, we should put it right here. And, you know, I feel like I could use it for my bobby pins. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's not like... Maybe it is ceramic or glass. I don't know. I don't know what it's made out of. But, pretty cute. Alright, we're at the book. Oh, save that for last. And now, ooh. Great. 
delicious chopsticks. It says one month. Okay, it says the same thing. A single grain of rice can tip the scale. Can you see that? No. Uh... A single grain of rice can tip the scale. That's so cool. I have like no no idea how to use these. But I love me some Chinese food. So I don't, like I can't I can't pick that up. That is really cool. Don't want to do that one either. And then we got a bookmark. One side says, knowledge always has the potential to be dangerous. And the other side says, it is a more powerful weapon than any sword or spell. Margaret Rogerson. Wow. Okay, let's open it. Has a lot of, I can't open it. Flowers and books and keys. Oh. I think it's made out of wood. I think it's made out of wood. Okay, here's one side. You see it? Very. Look at the details. The books and the thorns. And the other one. You see that? I've never gotten a wood bookmark. And I love it. So cool. Okay, and then we got, of course, Lit Joy always has these, I think they're trading cards, I believe. Alright, let's see. Okay. They all have this on the back of it. So the first one is, did I only get two? Or are they stuck together? No, I think I just got two. Her. I don't know where that she's from. And then he has like tattoos on his neck and his arms. You see tattoos on his arms and then like, kind of on his neck. You guys know where he, they're from? Let me know down in the comments. And then we got. Beautiful photo. Look at all, look at that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. And it's by the, from the author, I believe. Ray, Ray, I can't. Wow, if you get this, you should definitely read the back of it. It talks about her 10-year-old bio dad kidnapped me, went on a run. This is interesting stuff over here, but look, it's so beautiful. All right. Enough of that. Let's get to the book. Of course, beautiful turquoise blue. All right. Are you ready? Ray Carson. Okay, I just can't read curves. So. Oh, easily. The Empire of Dreams. Moto of the Royal Guard. Harsh winds, rough seas, still hearts. Okay. The little blurb about it is Red Sparkle Stone spent her entire childhood running from sinister sorcerers or the cold or hunger or vicious masters. But that's over now. Finally, at 16 years old, she's safe. She has a home. Despite everything, her veiled past, her odd name, the mark and magic in her hair, Red is being adopted by the royal family. Until the Empress' greatest rival blocks the adoption in a stunning political master stroke and everything Red has worked for crumbles away. Red is not about to let herself or the Empress become a target again. Determined to prove her worth and protect her chosen family, she joins the Royal Guard, the world's most elite fighting force. As the plot against Empress happen, deepens, Red must uncover the enemy who has put her, her country, and everyone she loves at risk, if she can fight. 
survive recruitment year. Something no woman has done before. I just realized I did not do this. So we're gonna do that real fast. Um, talks about Arthur, or who did the dust jacket, Tara, Spreet, Spreet. Uh, uh, oh, Sorcerer of Thrones was the bookmark, and the one Wonder Woman fanny pack, we got that one, Mulan inspired chopsticks, and soy sauce dish, it's not for hair pretty, mm-mm, it's a soy sauce dish. Alright, I like it. And April trading cards, set of two, represented Hannah Dolly and Nick Malakoff from Gemini, the Alumni Files 2. Hmm. Got Starbucks, obviously Game of Thrones. El Lord, of the Lord of the Rings, I am no man, M enamel pin. April's and then just talks about optional stuff and April photo challenge and the May theme for next month. Oh, to Owl Crate. Let me just slice it open. Good nice. Sorry about that. My daughter wanted to try to jump on in. Alright, let's see what. It's yellow, obviously, like the front with the thing, and then down the spine. It's like a cherry, dusty, I don't know, red, kind of. And then these are the rest of, I believe, in the series, or just by her. And this is what it looks like unfolded. I don't know if you can see that. So that is so cool. Okay. So if you guys, I don't think I've ever read this book. No, I haven't. But I'm really excited to. Because that seems intriguing. Empire of Dreams. Okay. So, I have to say... My favorite thing from this, my top one, was I love the cup. Gorgeous. Love it. And then, I've never, it has to be the wooden bookmark and the pin. Because I'm just now starting to box subscriptions. And I've never got a pin. And I've never got a wooden bookmark yet. So, ding! Those are my top three. So look, Joy. I like when you first open it says a guide to unboxing is to give a whoop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Finally got it open. That was a hard one. Oh my gosh. Right when you open it, it is stuff packed. And the first thing is, I believe, it says Owl Crate. And it says spoil warning, so we're not going to read that yet. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, and then wormies. My kids love them, but my vacuum hates them. We have some more wormies. Okay, and the first thing. It's so cute. It's an owl bed. Monthly and they have designed in collaboration with White Wide Woods. They have Etsy shop. This is box 62, so it's pretty cool. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of Harry Potter's owl. I don't think it is. And, oh, I think it's supposed to, I think this month is magical. And then we have another little pouch that says, a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. How cute is that? A little, it's like cloth. I love it. Okay, now I gotta open it. Okay. Oh my 
Look at okay. If I can untwine, if I can, if I can. So, do I paint these? Like, look. Oh wait, am I doing the wrong way? I don't know. But I think it's all like, well, not all. Most of the moon phases. That is so cool. Let's put that right here. Right here. I'm so. I love it all. I love it. Alright. Sorry. Next one. <laughs> Owl crate. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? It's like a neck bra bracelet. Not a necklace, Kaylee. Come on. Okay, well, I got a huge head. I mean, a huge wrist. But it'll work. It's so pretty. It feels kind of like, it's like coppery and it's kind of dainty. So I just want to be careful with it. I'm going to put it back in the box like this. But not as cute. I like that. I like this theme. It feels like witchy to me. I love it. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a bug! It says... Okay, I can't read that like that. The moon is a loyal companion. Here's my summer bag! I love it. Alright, we know this is gonna be in the top three. Just right. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's like a journal. It's that I can't read it backwards, guys. Come on. With freedom, books, flowers, and the moon. Who could not be happy? By Oscar Wilde. Will be. Look at that. Look at all that detail. There's some color. Oh yes. It's a notebook. Oh my gosh. With a little owl crane on the back, of course. That's super cute. I really, I like it. I like that one too. Mm. Especially with this quarantine going on, puzzles. I am excited for this one. Puzzle. It's a 300 piece Mooney puzzle. Owl crane exclusive. Have a cozy night in and steer clear werewolves with this 300 piece Mooney Jigsaw puzzle with artworks by Atelier Met. That's gorgeous. Oh, upside down. Look at that detail. Oh, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited. Alright. Now we have the book, which I already have the book from the first look crate I got. But that doesn't matter. It's still a good book. And then we have the theme of May boxes, which is this month. Rebels with a cause. Look at that. Look at that. She has a knife. Oh. It says, look for a sneak peek. Okay, so this is the cheat sheet, not this one. So this is just what was in from the book. And this and this is the book. I believe they also have lit crate. I believe that March's book was this too. But that's fine, because I also have someone who really wants to read this book, so it'll be great. And as always, we got a note from the author, Love It, by Catherine Purity, 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 I don't know. <gasps> and look at the edges. It's not white, so I wish you can, hope you can see it. It's like a dusty green gold. Ah, it's so Okay, so I'll read the blurb again, just in case. 
It says they alone can keep the dead from preying on the living, but their power to ferry the spirits of the dead into Goddess Solaire's night heavens or Tyrus's underworld come from sacrifice. The gods demand a promise of dedication at the cost of bone queries. One true love. At least has been prepared since birth to become the matriarch of the bone queries, but first she must complete her riot of passage and kill the boy she is also destined to love. Bastine's father was slain by a bone query and also been seeking revenge ever since. But his vengeance comes too late. Elise's ritual has begun, and now their fates are entwined in life and death. Sab Sabine has never had the stomach for the bone crier's work. Ooh, interesting. I'm excited. And this is what it looks like without the cover. A dusty gray. Ooh. And as always, it tells you a little bit about the Arthur. Arthur, not Arthur. Okay, it says a little bit about the interview with Arthur, like where she got the idea from, what three animals would you choose, and then it says this is the regular cover, and this is the owl crates cover. So it kind of like went more. A light blue theme. Pretty. And just for fun. Um, and it gives you suggestions like with other books that are like it. And then talks about the bag and who did the bag. And then April Box Photo Challenge. And then I think this is Oh, the Spotify stuff right there. And then other releases we're excited for about this month. So, where's my... Who did the bracelet? Oh, or Shatter Me inspired tote bag created by Unlucky Designs make the perfect, subtly bookish edition for reusable shopping bag. There you go. And then the, the notebook by... And Oscar Wilde, the quote, and lovely artwork by Kim Becker Designs and Winterwood uh, Wrist. And I saw me swear that I'll have fun piecing together 300 jigsaw puzzle. A bit moony over Remus Lupin, Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor. Harry Potter name. I should have known that. Didn't know it though. And White Woods designed this month's enamel pin around a very special companion for a bone career's mood. The most benevolent owl we've read about since Hedgewig. Uh, and then inspired our canvas pouch featuring a dreamy quote from Oscar Wilde. You'll find a bamboo moon phase banner to add some silliest vibes to your wall decor. Wow. Okay. So that was this month magical theme owl crate. So my favorite, I have to say, I really, really like, I really like my pin. I do. I just love it. So that's number one. Number two has to be my bag. Gorgeous. Love it. And then my last one. Oh, it's either the notebook or the moon. I can't decide. I'm just going to put them together. They both have moons on them. So the bracelet and... The moon side. So yeah, guys, that was um the April box. I think about that. So as always, down below, let me know what your favorites were. If you've read the book, what you think about the book. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss anything. And if not, have I'll link down my the links to all these and I'll put in the information and I'll put in my Instagram because I'll have more of close-ups and videos of what's going out and help do sneak peeks and whatnot else. So hope you guys are doing good during this coronavirus and thank you for all the essential workers out there and all the parents that are stay-at-home parents are struggling with their kids because I feel ya. I got two. 
I feel you. So until next time, be safe, stay home, and try to be entertained with all these books. Okay, bye guys.